power tool safety is important. So I did something really stupid here. I took a circular saw, put it upside down on a pallet, have a little uh, distance scale here so we can get a little speed, uh, speed reading. And then there is the FPS 1000 recording here. And I will drop uh, some wood on it and we will see a normal kickback that you should avoid at all cost and then maybe a little other kind of different objects. So, just how dangerous is this piece of wood? It's only a mere 142 grams. So, let's try to calculate the acceleration, the final speed, and how hard this will hit you. The first thing we need to find out is how far does the piece of wood travel in how little time. So, here I have uh, frozen the uh, high-speed recording. And we can see that the front end of the wood here is at uh, 20 centimeters. So if I, if I go fourth now, five frames, one, two, three, four, five, we can see that the piece of wood have traveled a good 10 centimeters in five frames. Now recording at 1000 frames per second, that corresponds to traveling 10 centimeters in five milliseconds. So now we have some data that we can calculate the acceleration from. Here I am using the acceleration uh, calculator on uh, omnicalculator.com, not uh, that I'm uh, affiliated with this uh, website, but it just has some uh, nice uh, easy um, calculators. So we start with number two here for the distance traveled. We start out with an initial speed of zero meters per second. We travel a distance of 10 centimeters, and we do that in five milliseconds. Now that corresponds to an acceleration of 8,000 meters per squared second. So now we can calculate the net force that uh, is impacted on this piece of wood. So we take the 142 grams that the piece of wood weighs, and we now have our calculated acceleration. So we have a net force of 1.1 kilonewton. Now we would also like to know the, uh, the final speed. So up here we can type in our initial speed at 0 meters per second. But the time was 5 milliseconds and again the acceleration. So we get 40 meters per second. Now to get an idea of how hard this will hit you, they also have a car crash calculator. So we can actually put in the uh, data that we have from the acceleration calculation. So we have the speed, which is now the speed of the wood. So we put in 40 meters per second. It weighs 142 grams. Now we have to um, correspond the average impact force to the net force that we calculated for the acceleration. So that's 1.1 kilonewton. So we can see here that the force of the wood we that would hit us is actually 112 kilograms, and that is on a mere five square centimeters. So there is a quite good reason that you want to avoid getting hit by a circular saw kickback. So this is the aftermath. The scale took a little damage, 
the uh, blast shield or let's just call it blast absorber over here got destroyed and then we have the three pieces of wood actually quite clean cuts to them and it's funny how you can see the actual teeth from the uh, saw here and then there is the poor old Nokia phone <laughs>